All right, let's go back to the let's head back to my room and going go and see we can do something about that. Let's do case. You guys are going to check out the office. No time to check the office. I gotta go and get my I gotta go get my suitcase open. Probably get that over and done with quickly. Oh god damn it! I just want to. I just want to walk. Huh? A door near the stairs opens and someone peeks out. Oh, it's Eye Patch Lady. Yep. Yoo hoo! Pardon me, young man. What me? Yes, that's right. I was wondering if you could be a dear and help me. Do you know what time the restaurant opens? It's that old lady from the from downstairs. Yeah, six o'clock. So it's so it's still closed. You might want to stay in your room. Don't want you to climb the stairs if you don't have to. Don't want you to climb the stairs if you don't have to. Is that so? Oh, thank you so much for your kindness, young man. My name is Helen Parker. Helen Wait Parker. Helen Parker. Helen Parker. Wait a second, I gotta figure this out. Okay, Just go keep on. going. Oh, okay. Forgive me for asking, but what is your name? Kyle Hyde. And what room are you are you staying in, Mr. Hyde? 215. Ah, so you're the rascal who stayed in Wish. Wish? That's right. Such a nice name for a room, don't you think? I'm in room 212. It's called Angel. I guess old ladies like the, like, like the names. At least that's something. Sure. It's a good name, I guess. It really is, isn't it? Well, Kyle Hyde, thank you for taking the time to speak with this old lady. Please excuse me, dear. See you later then, Hel Helen. Why is she staying here? The old woman with the uh, with the eye packs turns and shuffles back to her room. Well, I mean, I can always go and talk to her. Hello. Oh, it's you, the young man from before. Now, what was your name again? Kyle Hyde from room one two five one. 215. Wish. Yes, yes, I remember now. What can I do no, for you? Okay, no, it's not the it's not the same. It's not the it's not Helen from Clock Tower, that's Helen Maxwell. Oh. You never know. She could have just changed her name. Like what happened with Barton, remember? <laughs> so it could just be Helen again. I'm curious. Why are you staying in a, in a dump like this? I can't tell you. Why is that? Because if I do, I will reveal the biggest secret that happened in Oslo. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> dear memories. Well, if you must know, I have, I have some dear memories of this hotel. What kind of memories? Oh, you know. The good ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's a secret, young man. The best memories are the ones you keep locked up in your in your heart. That's what makes them special. They're not the sort of things you should share easily. So polite. Are you sure there's nothing else? No, I'm afraid not. I see. Well, please excuse me then. Helen closes her door. I mean, I probably could have guessed that with the sound of the door shutting. Anyway, back to my room. I'm gonna go and do something about that bloody coat hanger. Hello, Mr. Coat Hanger. I want to examine you. I gotta cut these stupid fucking pliers. Uh. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm getting a bit off it. I see. How is it floating in midair? Nope. This isn't the way. This isn't the way. This isn't the way I need to cut it. Wow, Wait. it fixed itself. You need to you need to give it more length, I believe. Ah, all right, I see. I was wondering what it was doing wrong. So try to cut as much of the length of it as possible. I'll go about here. 
Yes! I cut it to the right length. Now I've got a thick piece of wire. Thick. Let's see if I can get the suitcase unlocked. With this, I have this. Also, apparently the, the coat hanger's just gone now forever. Give me that thick piece of wire. All right. All right. There we go. It's like Skyrim. Or Oblivion. My, my case is unlocked now. Looks like you've cracked this case. <laughs> 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 Here we go. I got the lock open. Alright, so what have we got in my suitcase? Got a tie. This is a neck this is a necktie. Got got on sale. It's an electric razor. I'm gonna have to use this at some point. Those are my socks. Gotta wash them. Cologne? Whiskey. It's good stuff, too. Jesus. New shirt? It's a clean shirt. My only one, actually. That's a pen. That's a pencil. I don't need that right now. I don't want the pencil. I want the money. This is what I need. I'll take my cash out of my suitcase. Alright. Might as well go back to the counter and head downstairs and go and drop off the what I need to what I need to pay all right off we go let me out oh I better not forget what Rachel told me I've got to put the client list in my suitcase ah yes yeah, you probably also want to put the magazine in there as well my suitcase is on top of the table yeah not a bad idea actually man's magazine I'm not gonna get anywhere, anywhere using this right now. I guess I can't put away that. So client list. I hit the client list in my suitcase. All right, now I can leave. Time to hit the town. All right. Oh, I can also go and pay my tab. Hey, Buster. Bell. I doubt I'll get any service even if I ring it. Alright. He said he would be in his office, so I think his office is over here. Hello? Are you hide? I mean, who else would it be? You come to pay your bill? Yeah. How much? 40 bucks. Here. 40 on the new. What a horrible your hassle. Sorry about that. Hey. Uh, I don't follow you. What are you talking about? The mix up with your package. Rosa told me that Lois brought you the wrong one. Oh, that. Yeah, he screwed that up. If it weren't for that guy, Summer, who knows what would have happened. But your package got to you in the end, right? I mean, I guess. Good, good. Just got to hear that you finally got it. So, was it anything uh, to get the place in trouble? No, it's just cleaning supplies. Also, why are you carrying a crowbar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not carrying a crowbar. You're carrying a crowbar. Look, I know men who are well endowed, but that in your pants is not a crowbar. <laughs> that your dick. <laughs> he, he goes like, you, why are you gonna crowbar? I'm gonna crowbar. You're gonna crowbar. What are you talking about? Gonna, oh my god, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so confused. That Lois just makes one screw up after another. Next time he does something like that, he's gone. And right now I'm busy with a dog with fleas. So Fire Emblem won't have to wait for it. Too bad. Let me make it up to you. Dinner's on the house tonight. And just listen to what the Moonlight Grill's got on the menu. Ribeye steak with fresh garlic butter. And that's a class steak too. Oh, so I'll be able to keep her mouth shut, but she's a hell of a cook. She'll even have to throw in a dessert for you. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna close up the office and head back to my room for a spell. You need anything, I'll have to wait till later. Fair enough. Don't fin finish this and then turns turns and walks down the hall. Well, he's now he says that. Can we go into the main office and see if Buff find and the, the lost and found? Good question. All right, time to go perusing. I guess I should nose around the office we've done now. I kind of wish, like, I think I've said this before. I kind of wish, like, the Nonary game was sort of like this. I would have actually liked it to be more like this. Where does he keep the lost and found stuff? Might as well check the gas, gas register, too. See if I can find any info on the other me who stayed here. Man, I hope I don't get found out. Man, I can't believe I got my room key. What are you doing in here? <laughs> this, this is a... I'm just tidying up the room. It's all... Why? <laughs> I'm a clean freak. There's some kind of memo stuck under the cabinet. You're a snoop. <laughs> Get out of here, Snoopy. Go take Charlie Brown with you. <laughs> Alright, come on, Charlie Brown. Let's go. What's this? It's gonna be one of those things I have to be careful. Like, oh, uh, careful, careful. No, fuck. What? The way that you get that is use the uh, the the crowbar. Oh, oh. Damn I think it. that has to happen first. I got the memo. There's a bunch of. Dots and numbers on the memo. What in the world? What's this supposed to mean? You can't do anything until you get to connect the dots. Well, I'm going to get the crow boot. Kind of wish I could use my scroll wheel on the on this, but nah, can't do that. Lower it down. Oh, okay. Got it now? Oh. Oh, fuck. What was that? <laughs> the car what was that? Who got the who got the correct notification sound effect? The what? <laughs> I got the memo. There's a bunch of dots and numbers on the memo. It's the same thing I've read before. Now let's set it back together. This is useless. What's this supposed to mean? Ah! Looks like so, it looks like I connect the dots. That's not right. No, it's definitely like I connect the oh, dots. Hold on, let's let's do this. So go, just go one, two, three. All right. Okay. No, don't make it a triangle. Oh, oh, obviously... oh, 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 okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so one. So that's one. Okay, so, so let's see what the next one is. Oh, you're right, it's making a number. Okay, so... That's a three. Okay, so we got three. And then... And then nice. Twelve. No, thir no, thirteen. Yes, and then also... 11, 12, 13, 14, 13, 130. If that is correct, 
Well, we can go off That's it. what I'm believing it. One, three, or seven, three, zero. Hmm. So if I connect the dots. Oh, wait, isn't there something at the top there? It looks like a code thing. This looks like a cabin. It looks like a cabin number three. And there's a code thing. There's a combination lock on the cabinet. Ah! Oh, I should have done this the other way around if I knew this. There we go. I really do like that uh, that sound effect. It's really nice. All right, so what we got in here? That's it. So what do we get inside the cabinet? There's a cabinet open. Well, ah, the red the box. Box. There's a small red box in one of the cabinet drawers. All right, we got the other one. So that means we found everything for Ed. This must be the box that was that was on the order sheet. Nice. That's everything I was supposed to, that was supposed to find. All right, so we got that sorted out. Let's have a look at what's on the desk. There's a car on the desk. Happy birthday. There's a notebook and a card on the desk. There's a card on the desk. It's a birthday card. There's a message written on the card. Happy birthday to my dearest Jenny. Ooh, I wonder who Jenny is. Who the fuck's Jenny? The cover of the notebook says, Supervise me log. Got some stuff written in the notebook. It's number 26. Tied up, tied up to the cabinets. Put things le left by guest in drawer number three. Put guest registration card in drawer A. Drawer A, huh? There's a, there's a calendar on the left side of the desk. December 5th is circled on the calendar. Circled? What's so special about what's so special about December 5th? Dylan's got all the room keys hanging hanging on the wall. Now, one thing that you should know about is in parts of your investigation is be very, very careful on certain information like dates or uh, there's one point where you see a picture of maybe, I think Dunning has a granddaughter or something like that. I don't know. But the point is saying like, who's the girl in the picture? The thing is, that's kind of personal. Why would you possibly want any kind of concern or business in regard, just, do you know what I'm yeah. getting at? You know, it's, it's something that a guest at the hotel would not have any concern with, you know? Fair enough. I will keep that in mind. There's no key for a room for room two one five. Actually, that is odd. There's like a bunch of spare keys for these rooms, but the extra's gone. That is interesting. Now that it actually isn't just a spare key for my room. Am I planning to die or something? I hope I'm not planning to be murdered. The file case in the drawer is full of registration cards. Might not be a bad idea to take a peek at these cards. Yeah, here it is. Name the name Kyle Hyde is written on the registry of the registration card. Stayed in room 217 on June 30th, 1979. Dunning wasn't Dunning wasn't making it up after all. There really was a guess of my name. Oh god damn it, not you! Hey Officer Hyde, what's happening, brother? Oh, look, it's Lewis. Hey man, I didn't see her. Where were you hiding? None of your business. Oh, he's he's gonna be asking about why we in that office. Yeah, I know. What do you want? Did you just pop out of the office, man? What were you doing in there? Um. Oh god. Uh... Oh god. Neither <laughs> of these are good. Nothing to do with you. Um, if we say you know business, that's gonna be suspicious. Yeah. Maybe it might be best to see... Because if he thinks Dunning is in there, or because he obviously has an issue with um, thinking that Dunning... Oh, I think he's, he's a screw-up. So it's just, just... Just even nothing to do with you because you were paying your tab. Yeah, that's true. Nothing to do with you. Business got nothing to do with you, Lewis. So mind your own. Is that so? What are you worried about? 
No, seriously, man, what were you doing in the office? You and old man Dunning, were you, you weren't, you know, you weren't talking about me, were you? About you? Yeah, man. You know, chatting about my history in the city? You weren't filling Dunning's head with a bunch of garbage about old Lewis, were you? Nah, it wasn't about you. Relax, Lewis. We weren't talking about you. Oh, thank God, Miss. Thank goodness for that, my man. I was gonna have a total freak out. Officer Hyde. Yeah. You told me to quit the for. You told me you quit the force that taught to work as a salesman, right? Were you serious? Uh. I mean, better. I mean. Better to trust him. I mean, because, like, what's the point of actually lying to him? Because he might actually throw that back in my face because the whole no cops and all that. Uh. I'm gonna go trust him. Yeah, I'm serious. Really? Officer Hyde? Gotta tell you, my man, you don't act like any salesman I've ever seen. So why'd you quit being a cop in the first place? You know, you said you were fired, but... What do you do to lose your badge? Well... According to the flashback... This is Hyde. Hyde, I got some bad news! It's Bradley! He's... He's feeding the pigeons again! What the hell?! <laughs> Bradley! <laughs> Hey, what gives? I screwed up a case, okay? That's too bad, man. It was three years ago back. It was three years back. My partner and I were working on a case. We were investigating a series of art thefts. Art thefts? You talking about that crime ring? Ever heard of Nile? Did you say Nile? Hold up. Knew about- knew about that, huh? That's something you knew about? You bet I did. So you were in the cover? No. I was in the office put- pushing paper and drinking bad coffee. Wait, so that was the other detective that was running with Niall? Yeah. Oh wow, man, that's some trip! What are you mumbling about now, Lewis? I never thought meeting up with you again would clear that up. It all makes sense now, so yeah, that's how it was. Wait a sec. That's how it was? What makes sense now? Hmm. Ah, God. Yeah, I guess what makes sense now, you know, like... Yeah, I'll go with that. You just have a revelation there, Lewis? It's nothing, man. Spell it. I got nothing to say, man. Louis, Louis de Nunu. Huh? Aw, oh, give me a break. Is this where you've been wasting your time? I knew it, you lazy bum. Aw, oh, man, she found me. Found you? How about I'm sore, Rosa, and please don't kill me, Rosa. You haven't finished setting the tables, you lazy bum. It's almost time to open. Oh, that was just on my way. Don't get worked up, you'll pull a muscle. You're so worried about me. Get your... Uh, 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 get your behind in gear and finish the job. Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Just shut up already. <laughs> Move it and don't tell me to shut up. Okay, okay, man. I'm going. Lewis leaves. Well, that was, uh... That was definitely something. Hasn't changed a bit. Huh? Hasn't changed? Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Uh... Thinking deep? Uh, or what's wrong? Uh... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I was gonna say maybe what's wrong might help. What's wrong? Something... Something in you? Huh? What mean? No, no, I was just... 
thinking about you and Lewis is all. Come on, what are you thinking about? Say, you wouldn't happen to... Happen to what? Happen to know Lewis from somewhere else. You do, don't you? Um... I mean, I can't exactly... I mean, I can't exactly yeah. say I don't know him now. I mean, the amount of times I've spoken. I mean, the amount of times I've spoken to him. And the way that the relic, and it's obviously she can. Well, piece basically, two if 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 he decides to say something, you know, then obviously he's going to make you look bad, doesn't it? I mean, like yes. he's keeping a secret. I mean, I came clean about telling him that I'm I'm actually not a cop anymore. So. Yeah. I... So yeah, you know him, but I think you can say it, it's nothing. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I know him. I knew it! Oh, okay. okay. Oh, did it turn red, did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm that, sure I heard Lewis call. Happened. Oh dear, Officer Hyde. Good to know I wasn't just imagining things. That wouldn't do at all. Oh, God. What well, now? It's nothing, really. I just thought if you and Lewis knew each other. I thought I could ask you something. Go ahead. Well, see, oh, this is really awkward. Well, I wanted to really ask you about Lewis's past. His past? That's right, his past. Yeah, you know, what was he like before? You knew him, right? So, could you tell me what he did before he started working here? Come on, talk to me. Right. Don't tell her anything. Yeah. His past? Why? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? He's hiding something, I just knew it. Hiding something? What do you mean? It's been almost three years since Lewis started working here, and on all that time he's never once talked about his past. Not once! He's hiding something, I can smell it. Always can. Oh yeah? So what's he hiding? Something terrible, I'd stake my mop on it. It's lying terrible. You know, a criminal record or an ex-wife or running from the law or something. I mean, he's just so shifty. Got a sec. Oh, uh, you think he's shifty? Yeah, only best option. You think he's shifty? Oh, no doubt about it, Rosa. Rosa has a nose for these things. That boy's got a criminal record for sure, no doubt. Huh. What's wrong with you? Why do you look so surprised? What's wrong with you? What? What are you talking about? A woman of your stature. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. Come on, you're a mature woman, right? A good judge of character? As a matter of fact, yes, I am. What's that got to do with anything? It's just that when a woman like you says a guy, guy like Lewis is a criminal, it's a bit surprising, that, that's all. I expected more from you. What on earth do you mean, Mr. Hyde? Am I wrong? Is that it? I'm wrong? You're wrong. Look, Lewis is a nice guy, but he's a slacker, not a crook. Sure, he ain't got, he ain't got, sure he ain't gonna win any awards for hard work, but he's not out to hurt people. He's just a small-time guy who worked in a greasy pizza joint in the East Village. He hasn't changed a bit. Just what he need, just what he needs to do to do at it, to, to escape by. Really? So that's it. Well, I I never suspected. I I'm sorry for wasting your time. Well, we're gonna have a talk now. Who's Jenny? <laughs> Who's Jenny? Jenny. I don't know anyone named Jenny. Oh, I, but I don't. Is this, I probably shouldn't ask about this. Yeah, because like again, I'm, it's, gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it. Well, I've got to get a move on. Dinner won't wait. Uh, you know, busy, busy. Rosa finishes talking and scurries away. And Pedro. All right, what we got? I gotta give Rachel a call. Oh, of course I do. Hello, Mom. Is it time for dinner? Hello, Red Crown. 
It's me. You page me? It's your dad, sweetie. What is that? Let me put that on. Hide. Tell me something, will ya? Is there any... Is there a kid named Louis Denona working there at Hotel Dusk? Denona? Yeah, he's the bellhop. I knew him from back in the day. He said he had left the city and drifted out here about three years ago. You know the kid, huh? What's his story? Just a punk who used to run the subways picking pockets. Can't tell you how many times I busted him. Why? What's going on? Well, I just got back from the meeting. A buddy of mine, he's LAPD. Guys heads up their Nile task force and he said... Wait, hold it. Got friends on the Nile case? Yeah, I know. Some guy's working on it. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Anyways, we're having a drink, shooting the breeze, and he mentions Hotel Dusk. Then he tells me about some scuzz named Lois Denona, who's working there. Seems Niles been looking for his clown. That doesn't make sense. Lewis is strictly small time. Why would Niall why would Niall care if he lives or die? Well, three years ago, a stiff turned up near a warehouse in Manhattan. Some cane named Danny was up to his eyeballs with Niall, and he got himself offed. NYPD wrote off as a gang or mafia alike. Al, you know the drill. No witnesses, no leads, nobody ever brought in. What's this got to do with Lewis? I'm getting there, Hyde. Relax, will ya? It sounds like... You sound like my ex sometimes. Anyways. Seems like your boy, Denona, right in the, isn't right in the middle of all this. The night Danny got taken out, he was the bag man for a big payoff. Of course, when Danny Boy buys it, the bribe money vanishes. Word on the street is Danny was buddy-buddy with your pal, Lewis. And here's where it gets good. After Danny buys it, Lewis just vanishes. So now, Niall wants their money back, and this kid's the only lead. They've been looking all over for him, and now we think they've tracked him down. It must be on the hunter they tracked him down to this dive. So if they know where Lois is, Lois is, why is he still breathing? They think he's just a pawn. They think there's somebody else calling the shots, pulling the strings, you know? Niall. Never thought I'd hear that name in this place. Well, to be fair, I mean, we just heard it like maybe like five minutes ago, but hey. Total coincidence. I don't know. You think so? I don't think so. I know so. Oh, and I got another juicy bit of info for you. The Nile money that Danny was carrying when he got smoked? They got the cash by the fencing stolen art. Hang on. The cash was from that mess Bradley was involved in? Could be. That would mean Lewis. Yeah, he may have some dirt on Bradley we never heard. Huh. Tell me something, Hyde. You find the stuff on the order sheet? Taken care of, don't worry about it. Good. Business before vengeance, you know, har har har. Anyways, I'll be in touch. Lewis, fr Lewis's friend was involved with Niall. I think Lewis and I need to have a little chat. Where's Lewis got to? Where's Lewis got to? Oh, he's in the flipping dining hall. Unless, like, it's we have to go around asking people, which I found a funny thing that might actually be the case.